When I was pulling up into uh, DTW and we were about to get off the plane and I remember there was a couple next to me and they had been in Africa for about the same amount of time and we were kind of just joking about like, oh, you know, are you ready to go back into the first world? And, you know, it was, we were there long enough where, you know, where we were felt like home. I fell in love with Uganda as a country and there, like, that's my heart. I mean, I shifted from looking at pediatric cognition to now I'm going to be doing my dissertation, likely, on adults with HIV because that is where the need is. Um, it has kind of changed where I'm going to be going the next few years. While I was in Uganda, I made very strong friendships. And now that I'm home, it's kind of hard to keep in contact with everyone. Very hard. A few have Facebook. Um, locals that were living there, as well as the people I worked with that worked for Global Health Uganda. Uh, we got very close with them as well, and um, we would play soccer with them, play basketball with them, uh, eat, eat all our meals with them, and you get to you get to know people and talk with them, and that was a, we were connecting on a different level than I had originally thought we would before going there, so. It gave me a very interesting insight into research in another country. I think it showed the ability of these people in these contexts to be more creative and really working within the resources they had. But I felt like within this global setting there was a little more energy into sustaining what the program was actually trying to do in the community, which was really nice. I had kind of fallen into this mindset before I left that to be successful, to make a name for myself, I need as many papers and posters and publications as possible. About partway through my time in Uganda, I realized that was so draining to me as a person. It shifted my focus from the publications back to the person. <laughs> I just think about, you know, if, if some of my friends that I made out there, if, you know, if they had the resources and, um, you know, everything that, that's given to us, I know how much, you know, how much, uh, how important that would be to them and how, how much they would want to take advantage of that. And it's almost like you feel guilty kind of wasting those opportunities. <laughs> What I had heard of a lot about in college is people going on trips and handing out medical supplies, or um, which is, which is great help and, and necessary. But I thought that the way Dr. Boyvin is helping um, people in the rural communities in Uganda is having a much bigger effect. Children are reaching the developmental milestones when they're supposed to be, and this is having a domino effect with multiple children in these villages. And that that's a way of thinking I've never I've never been exposed to. So that's that's the way Dr. Boyman thinks, and that's the way his colleagues think, and so that's definitely changed my perspective on ways to help.